What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I'm going to show you how to clean your wheels easily. Well, you really need two things to clean your wheels. You need some wheel cleaner, and I like the Bletchwacked. Made in Germany, but I have never had a wheel brush, and so I picked this up. This was one of the inexpensive ones on Amazon, but I'm actually really hopeful that it's a little bit different than some of the other brushes that I was potentially looking at because... Uh, I, as I was cleaning my wheels, I realized there are a couple things to keep in mind. Now, I don't see the name brand on this bag here. Where is it? Uh, Metal Free Premium Wheel and Rim Wand by Viking. And it's like purple, like the Minnesota Viking. Anyway, so what was interesting about this is when I was looking at wheel brushes, they have a lot of wheel brushes that look just like a stick with a washing pad on the end of it, kind of almost like window cleaners. And I was thinking, well, my problem with it is that sometimes that brake dust that accumulates on the rim is on there pretty good. You really do have to scrub it. And so if I have a rag, I usually put my finger in there, my thumb, and kind of give it a good, good wipe, even when I've sprayed cleaning solution on it. What I wanted was something that had some shape, some, some volume to it, but was still a little bit flexible, but not super squishy, right? That I could kind of not have to worry about digging into the rim or gouging it, but still getting into some of those, those tight cracks and uh, tight curves. And this seems to do it. I, I'm not sure if I can pull this up here. I assume you should be able to remove this and wash it. it just kind of peels up like this. Roll it like a cone dim. And then uh, what we have is a pretty thick foam in here. I'm assuming this is probably something that'll dry out. A little plastic handle. I like that. A little rubberized uh, grips on the side so I can make sure that that's not going to slip out, especially as it's wet. But then you have this uh, terry cloth like cover on it and that's pretty good to spray like a uh, nine inches long you know length matters but I like how it tapers which you might be able to see there is it's kind of thin down there so it can get into some of those cracks kind of where the spokes kind of uh, join together but then I also have a big piece here so if I can get it all the way through the wheel I can clear out some big holes that, that type of thing but more than anything you know it's just kind of getting into the wheels so let's try it out and even after you come out of a car wash you can have carbon build up all over the wheel where the brushes don't get to. So as I mentioned, the first thing I like to do is actually use this Bletch White, uh, just a really good cleaner and kind of, I don't know, caustic's the right word, but pretty powerful stuff. So you don't want to get it on yourself and just spray it around. I let it soak uh, while I'm spraying the rest of the wheels and then clean it all off. All right, now the beautiful thing about this is this little conical shape to it. So I can get in here where the opening is nice and big. You can see because it's nice and firm, it gets in there and wipes it out. But I can also get in here where the opening is not so big and gets right in there. And then right up here, again, you know, down here it might be a little more obvious. You have to really press your finger into some of these cracks and grooves to get this clean. But this little point is a great way to clean it up really easily. So if you want to pick this up, I will put a link to this brush in the description below. It was pretty inexpensive and I'm going to use the heck out of it. Check it out. Peter Ron Panda, out.